Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Roblox error, that is Roblox encountered an unexpected error or an unexpected error occurred and Roblox needs to quit. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to try restarting your VR. Just restart your VR once and after the system restart, you can launch and then check. Still not working, launch it as an administrator. So type in Roblox in Windows search box, make our active on Roblox player and then click on run as administrator and then you can check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to, now it's still not working. The next step is to perform disk cleanup. Let me close the game for now. To perform disk cleanup, you can type in disk cleanup in Windows search box and then click on disk cleanup. Now you have to select the drive where the Windows is installed and then you have to uh, select everything over here put a check on all the boxes over here and then click on clean up system files now again uh, put a check on all the boxes over here once you put a check now click on ok click on delete files this will uh, clean all the temporary data all the junk files, recycle bin, everything. And once this is done, then now you can check. If that does not work, then restart your computer once after the disk cleanup, and then you can check. Still not working, turn off memory integrity and restart your computer. This might make your device vulnerable. So when you once you're done playing the game, you can turn on memory integrity and restart your computer once you're done playing the Roblox game. Now for this, uh, you can type in core isolation uh, in Windows search box and then click on core isolation. And over here you can see memory integrity. It prevents attacks from inserting malicious code in, uh, into high security process. So this is risky. So if you want, you can do it at your own risk. So you can just turn it off. If you agree and then click on yes, and once this is done, restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can uh, launch Roblox. And then once you're done playing the game, now you can turn on the memory integrity. Once you're done playing the game, you can turn it on. And then again, after you turn it on, restart your computer. And then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to uninstall roblox now for this you can type in roblox in windows search box make a right click on roblox player and then click on uninstall find roblox in the list or you can search uh, there is a yeah once you find it click on it and then click on uninstall uninstall And once the uninstall is done, now go to these location. So open C drive, now open users C drive, users folder, your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. And then open the local folder, I think. Yeah, local. And then if you find a Roblox in the list, make a right click on Roblox folder, delete it. Now go to this PC, open C drive, open program files x86. If you find Roblox over here, you can make a right click delete it. In my case, it's not there. If you find it, delete it. Now once it is deleted, now uh, restart your computer. First of all, restart your computer. After the system restart, open Microsoft Store on your computer. And then install it from store. You can type in Roblox over here. And then you can try to install the Roblox game from here and then you can check. You can even uh, go to website and you can uh, try to download Roblox player and check if, if, if it is working or not. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to try installing Roblox uh, under a new local account. Now for this, uh, to create a new local account, uh, you can go to Windows settings and then go to accounts option scroll down click on other users 
click on add account now over here uh, you have to click on i don't have this person sign in information now add a user without a microsoft account you can name it whatever you want you create a username if you want a password you can create a password if you don't want it click on next and once it is created now click on this drop down option and click on change account type and then set it as an administrator click on ok now you can log into this new account so you can just log out and then log into this new account and then you can install roblox from the website or you can install it from microsoft store and then you can try to launch it and then check still not working the next step is to update windows the latest version for this open windows settings go to windows update click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check if that does not work you can try this option fix problems using windows update so go to windows update in windows settings and then go to advanced option scroll down click on recovery option over here you can see the option which says fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once this is done log into your game log into your computer and then you can try to launch roblox so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix these errors so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel